Man, would you listen to that? The frogs are really going crazy tonight. Tonight we'll be making an image of the Great Orion Nebula. There's the Orion constellation. And the Orion Nebula is right there in the middle. Here's a long exposure shot with just an iPhone. Let's get some light on in here. You can make a pretty good image of the Orion Nebula with a lens like this, but we're going to be using something a little bit bigger. This is a Celestron Nexstar 6SE. It's a 6-inch Schmidt-Cassegrain telescope. It's got outstanding optics, uh, and its 6-inch aperture will give us a great view into the Orion Nebula tonight. kind of dewy out here, so I want to use this uh, dew shield to help protect. Let's connect the camera so you guys can see what's going on. We're pretty much all set up now. The first thing we're going to want to do is align the telescope. Basically, to go through the align process, we just have to select a couple stars, and then the telescope will figure out which stars they are and allow us to track the rest of the sky. Time to select the first star. We've got a match. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is point the telescope at the Orion Nebula. Now we're going to be using this DSLR to take the picture of the Orion Nebula tonight. The reason we want to use a DSLR and not the regular astrophotography cameras we featured on this channel is because the Great Orion Nebula is really, really big, and those cameras are designed for stuff that are really, really small. We need to take a long exposure shot of a really big thing instead of a short exposure shot of a really small thing. But even with all that said, this telescope is not ideal for long exposure astrophotography. It has an alt azimuth mount, which means that it can't track the sky without your object rotating in your field of view. This will cause blurriness and smearing of the stars that you look at. In order to minimize this effect, we're going to have to take a relatively short exposure, something like 10 seconds, but with a high ISO, so we'll get a lot of detail. If we take a shot, we can see we can immediately see the Orion Nebula. So if you're ever wondering what it looks like through a telescope, especially a big one like this, this is not that far off. Even in this single short exposure, you can see many details in the nebula and the Damarian Nebula behind the main nebula. I don't want to just sit here and push the shutter button all night, and in fact every time I do it shakes the telescope. So I'm going to use this thing called an intervalometer, which will take pictures at predetermined intervals for me and allow me to get the most number of shots without disturbing the telescope throughout the night. We want to program the intervalometer to take a 10 second shot once every 12 seconds basically to give the camera time to process. We're pretty much ready to go now. Time to start the intervalometer. I'm going to let it dangle a bit and then try to push the button without swinging it around. 
camera's taking the first exposure, you can tell by the red light. Let's check out that first exposure just to make sure everything's good. Yep, looks good to me. Now we can just sit back for a bit and let the camera do the work. Okay, so it's been about an hour now and we've caught some pretty cool stuff. So we've got some great shots of the Orion Nebula. But if you look closely in the bottom corner here, you can see we actually caught a bunch of satellites moving across the nebula, which is really neat. All right, so we've caught about 300 frames. I'd say it's time to go back inside and process them. One neat trick we can do is put all of the exposures next to each other to make a time lapse of what the telescope actually saw throughout the night. So this is really what you'd see if you'd look through the telescope and you had the eyes of the camera. It's really neat. You can see the satellites going by and the field of view rotating as the telescope keeps Orion in its sights. Now we're going to stack our exposures using a program called AstroPixel Processor. Here's what we get before we do any processing. And here's what we get after we edit the image. You can immediately see all sorts of incredible stuff just from this image alone. Right in the middle, you can see the four stars that make up the trapezium at the center of the Orion Nebula. In Demarian's Nebula, you can see these large dust lanes extending out and into the Orion Nebula. There's this big dust object in the foreground that you can see remarkable detail in, given we just have a six inch. And the way the mottled gas sort of overlaps itself at the edges of the nebula is just breathtaking. I honestly can't believe how much we were able to do with just a six inch telescope.